Welcome back to uh, Cur I Love You, Colonel Sanders, a finger licking good dating sim. Donde esta picture? What? Oh. Okay, there we go. Well, welcome back to uh, Colonel Sanders, I Love welcome You, finger licking back. dating sim good. A finger licking good dating good simulator. Uh, so the audio might be a little bad this time because my microphone is just refusing to record, so I'm recording on my phone instead. Yeah, but uh, you know what? That's welcome, okay. Welcome to day two. Oh, I forgot how good this was. <laughs> <laughs> it's been, well, o over a month. Yeah. Um, I forgot all the voices, except for the narrator voice. And I know I did some sort of, like, British thing for Colonel Sanders. Yeah. What the heck? Why are there ghosts nuggets? <laughs> You awake on day two and attempt to process the wild visions you had. Were they memories or premonitions? And then there was that secret ingredient that Colonel Sanders went ahead and told you outright. Not much of a secret, huh? What was it? Um... <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember at all. It's probably just because he already trusts you so much. Sure, that makes sense. We'll go with that. Oh yeah, and that, that one girl, the rival girl. Eh. <laughs> 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 you meet up with your bestie in front of the school. Before you, oh, no. Before you can tell her about the encounter with the spork monster, she, oh. <laughs> she launches into a story of her own. This is you. Yeah, this is me. The excited voice, right? Okay! No. I think that was it. Okay! Okay, I know this might sound <laughs> a little strange, but I think I might be, um... I think... I might like Clank! Is Clank the little kid? Clank is the robot! Oh, yeah. <laughs> what was... Like him? Like, like, like? Like the Zelda enemy? <laughs> I know it sounds like I'm moving too fast, but there's something about him. I spit everywhere. I like him. Like, like him. Him. This makes me so uncomfortable. <laughs> we got to talking after class, and he's actually totally a sweet guy. I'm dyslexic. Not only that, but he's really smart. He told me all stories kinds about Colonel Sanders. All stories kinds. Okay, I believe you. Did you know that Colonel Sandal is Sandals? <laughs> Colonel Sandals. <laughs> What's the most popular kid in high school? No, but that does make complete sense. Yeah, he was so popular. <laughs> uh, he was so popular. They was voted prom king at school. He didn't even go <laughs> to, and he was the most convertible, convertible that also he the con himself rode in at the front of homecoming parade. And was also a convertible that he was, what? He was so popular that he was voted prom king at a school he didn't even go to, and was also the convertible that he himself rode. So he was <laughs> he the convertible. Was <laughs> Colonel Sandals oh is the convertible, everyone. I want fan art of Colonel Sandals. <laughs> As a convertible. Um, oh. That's the name of this episode, by, this, by the way. Colonel Sandals. <laughs> You're actually crying. <laughs> I'm thinking oh. maybe something got lost in pressure cooker language translation there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that makes, that makes yeah. sense. Either way, maybe maybe it'd be best if you took it slow with this new boy, like I am with Colonel Sander Colonel Sandals. <laughs> you and Colonel Sandals? The coolest guy in school, the most famous student, forever attending University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. You're a thing now. Okay, wait. Wow. What was it abbre abbreviated? University of Cooking School. U C S A L. U C S A L. We definitely connected yesterday. <laughs> you sure did. That's great. Why wouldn't he be into you, I guess? Laughing at the implication that you and the Colonel, you and Colonel Sandals might be a thing is definitely not cool. You are great. You, you have an idea about how to prove that your love is real. 
Well, if he's not enemy, why did he tell me one of his secret ingredients? Your bestie's eyes light up. A secret ingredient! It's a good face. <laughs> yeah, I just said that. There's gonna be an hour of this episode just laughing. A secret ingredient. A secret ingredient. Is there a dramatic echo in here? Miriam checks to make sure you're alone before continuing. So this summer, while I was on vacation with my family, a lovely man approached me in the Bionicle Garden where I was wandering. So many Bionicles everywhere. It was like the Lego Garden, but not. <laughs> <laughs> this can't be good. He told me about his passion for spices. Secret spices! Good voice, Craig. The man even gave me some to show me what he meant. He said it was a powder created from s duper rare dried flower pellets. <laughs> and that if I did him a big favor, I could have some of my own. They were solar pellets. Please, Miriam, don't tell me. So I fi I filled my suitcase with them and brought them home. He was so nice he even met me at the gate when I arrived. Later on, or later when I- What the frick just dripped from my crotch? <laughs> <laughs> that was a USB stick, not a drip. I know, but it felt like a drip. <laughs> later when I cooked with them, a very strange feeling came over me. And the flavor was unlike anything I'd ever tasted. Your hand- <gasps> He is really good in the character. His arms are moving all over the place. <clears throat> I think you're being very liberal with the meaning of spices here. Whatever. Anyway, we both share an interest in cooking, so we've stayed in touch, you know, like pen pals. He would be... He would love to know about new spices. You Wait, really what is that face? Is that like <laughs> a bad ego face? Please don't ever say that again. Why is her tongue like that? <laughs> uh, what? That, that post does not look to that face at all. <laughs> Imagine walking out of the school and just, and just <laughs> getting mugged by her. Give me your spices. <laughs> well, I'm definitely not supposed to share Colonel Sanders' secret recipe. And besides, I only know the one ingredient, so I doubt it'd be much use to anyone. Please, please. Oh, God. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Plates. <laughs> it would mean the world to me. No one is to know it came from you or from Colonel Sandals. Should we tell her? Should we tell her? I don't think we should. No. Yeah. We want to be with her. I don't want to lie to her. I don't. Oh, why, that, why is it just no one option? <sighs> Sandals. <laughs> You quickly think of a fake ingredient name. I don't know. How about... It was sandals. <laughs> I know. Sounds like some kind of witch's potion. But what can you do? Sandals? Sandals? <laughs> sandals? Wow! <laughs> her eyes lights up, imagining such a thing. And you figure that, you're, that you've satisfied her curiosity and she'll move on. However, she immediately turns around and does some thumb typing on her phone that you can't quite see. It's probably not good. Before you can ask her to confirm that she was definitely not texting secrets to other people, you'll interrupt. A wind rushes in. Cherry blossom petals fill the air. It's Colonel Sanders. He's <laughs> arriving at school. Is that the convertible? <laughs> That's not the kind of Ferrari I This, is the, this is the thumbnail, by the way. <laughs> can you just Photoshop a sandal over his face? Yeah, uh, I need to take a screenshot of this real quick. How do I exit full screen? Can I not exit full screen? Whatever, I'll take a screenshot later. Okay, should we run to him? I, th I totally think we should run to him. I want a crab block to him. Alright. He decides that the best way to show Miriam how serious you and the Colonel Sanders are would be to run to him. Surely he'll sweep you up onto the back of a stallion and you will ride away together. That'll show her good. Oh, Colonel! My Colonel! <laughs> Maybe we should have stayed in place. I'm making horse burns. <laughs> However, your sudden movements surprise the horse and it rears up, kicking you directly in the face. The force of the blow completely knocks you out cold. In the darkness, you see a vision. 
Oh, it's this guy. Uh, he had the really deep voice, right? He had the um, baloney. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, white lemons. I'm here to deliver you a message. Not this guy. It is important that you remember this exactly as I say it. This Friday. <laughs> if you forget, the world could end soon. So you know it's serious. I've been trapped in a realm beyond, but a great prophecy relies on my return. Only you can save me. All you need to do is repeat my name three times this Friday. <laughs> and that name is... But before you can continue, you suddenly awake. Aw, oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> you awake to find the Colonel... To find Colonel Sandal... Sandals. Is it sandal or sandals? Sandals. Tending to you. He roused you back to life with a satchel of secret spices. Or is, or is that his natural season must? <laughs> <laughs> Does he just rub chicken grease on those pits? Probably. Ooh, tasty. Okay, I definitely don't think we should kiss him. <laughs> That's not a good move. <laughs> Um, are you sure? Do you, do you, should we go for it? Should we just go all in? I want to see if we kiss the horse. Or Miriam. Hold on. Oh, we can't save. What? Why can we load but not save? There's no save button. Dang. Alright, we're just going for it then. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You've known him for a day. Are you really sure? I guess you must be. You put your arms around Colonel Sandals, Sandals' neck, that was an accident at that time, and pull him in for a kiss. But he turns his face, and you awkwardly kiss his ear. You can feel him shudder. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind kissing his ear as long as he was making that face. Yeah, I'm gonna... Too soon, you clearly mistook his compassion for love. Your soul crawls inside of itself, and you instantly die of embarrassment. The game's over. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my, my god! god. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> I guess that's the series, guys. Thank you for watching. I wasn't ready for that at all. <laughs> okay, should we just end the series? <laughs> just... <sighs> <laughs> Alright, guess we're trying again. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that at all. Oh my gosh. I didn't know you could get a game over in a dating scene. <laughs> Let alone I love you, Colonel Sanders. Alright, let's okay. let's skip to where we were. Okay. Oh, ooh, faces. Yeah. I like how she keeps that same stance. Yeah. <clears throat> That's the best part of this, wait. Yes. <laughs> I wasn't expecting <laughs> to get an actual game over. I didn't know that could even happen. Maybe he shouldn't be riding a horse at school. Maybe he shouldn't be running up to animals you don't know. It's hard to say who is in the wrong here. But one thing is for sure, that Colonel Sanders is pretty dreamy. That horse has beautiful shoes. I could really feel how smooth and sturdy they were when they were pressing into my face. Oh, what was the voice? That's nice to hear. No one truly appreciates good craftsmanship anymore. That's not... Oh, howdy. That's nice to hear. No one truly appreciates good craftsmanship anymore. That's what it actually was, I think. I think... I don't think... That's like a southern mixed with British. And with that, Colonel Sanders disappears into the school, diaper, leaving you and Miriam to follow. What? The school is a diaper, is it not? When no, I... Never mind. I was- I had a dream and I thought I told you about it where the school was a diaper and we just kicked down the door and there was just more diapers. It's like tiny canned shrimp. There's just more shrimp inside the shrimp. When you enter the classroom, you can see your two rivals, Ashley and Von Von. Von Von Von, Von, Von the Mon Mon! I think it's supposed to be Van Van the Man Man. But we're gonna stick with Von Von. <laughs> are, are doing something are doing something bad by the way they're hiding you know it must be really bad 
like counterfeiting bad res recipe. Wait. Like counterfeiting recipes bad. Experimenting with restricted ingredients bad. Summoning a demon bad? You try to get a peek of over oh, Von Von's hulking shoulder. Wait, I wanna see something. That's chill. I wanna see something in here. Uh, I was I was gonna see if there was a setting to make this transparent, because there is in like oh. Phoenix Wright, for instance. But he sees you coming. Oh, it is transparent. Whoa, whoa there, little one. I'm not sure you're ready to handle this. I don't think that was the voice, but I like that better. <sighs> why don't you make like a bee and wind, mind your own wax, honey? <clears throat> All right, uh, tell. I want to get sassy with Von Von Mon Mon. All right, you immediately dress the rivals down for their immature behavior. <laughs> Look at her oh, face. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> Culinary school is to be respected. This kind of nonsense is a waste of everyone's time. Now you've upset them. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you're the emperor of cooking, are you? You make the rules. I'm not sure you'd know how to make a good meal if it ate you, dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot she has chicken on her thighs. Oh <laughs> my. Being the best chef in the world takes more than just culinary school skills. It takes creativity. It takes pan pan pancakes. Pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't hurt to use little evil, you know? You finally get to look at what it is they were hiding, and you instantly recognize it. It's a book, just like you found after the end. You're in <laughs> I didn't mean to press that button. That's the same book that I found last night in the quad. Ashley immediately elbows Von Von, who hides the book behind his bed. <sighs> I don't know what you're talking about. This book is a family heirloom and its contents are secret. <clears throat> you know- oh wait, never mind. You notice- you- You notice that they haven't just been studying the book. They've got pop pinned to- Pop. They've got pop. Pop. Like soda pop. <clears throat> oh no, one of the kids is named Pop. Oh yeah. They've got pop <laughs> pinned to the wall and they're tossing potato skins at him as he tries to catch them in his <laughs> mouth. <laughs> I forgot how similar me and Pop are. We're playing hee hee hee. Before you can dig in any further, you're interrupted by the arrival of more students. It's almost time for class. Beep. 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 This is- I'm Clink. You are? Yes. I don't remember this at all. Clink must be running late. He's in such a hurry that he rolls right over Von Von's meaty foot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, watch it, you bucket of bolts. I like how he's a New Yorker now. You watch how you talk to him. He didn't do anything. <laughs> Sandals. I'm pretty sure I was Clink. Fine, whatever. You can be Clank. No, you can be Clank. No, just, you can be I'm pretty sure I was. You can be... No, okay, yeah, you were Clank, because I was the teacher. Which I have to make a new yeah, voice yeah. for. Yeah, because you completely forgot again. Yeah. Zzz, womp. <sighs> Who do you think you're talking to? I've never heard such language, not even from a stand mixer. <laughs> womp, womp. No, your mother was a stand mixer. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting him to start crying. Worms. Von Von jumps to attack Clink, but Clink shocks Von Von, sending him flying across the room. Protect me, Colonel Sanders. These crazed men are about to come to blows. I think it must be over me, but I'm not interested in either of them. Look at her face. Yeah, I'm not a fan of her face. She looks... She definitely her... does look like a KFC worker. It's though. her... It's her... Uh, what's it called on her eyelid? The makeup that you'd put there? Mascara? Yeah. I was thinking eyeshadow, but that's under your eye. Yeah, that's what you look like to make yourself look ugly. Right? That's where I I don't know how makeup. Her makeup, makeup on her good. eyelid. Ashley's tone is. Where did that cane come from? What do you mean? Cool. It's Colonel Sanders. He has everything. <laughs> I bet he doesn't have, you know. Look at her thigh. Can I just point that out real quick? I don't think that's how thighs work. Ashley's tone has completely changed in an instant. She bats her eyelashes at Colonel Sand Sandals. Surely he must know that this is a ruse, right? 
Boy, howdy. <laughs> Gentlemen, get a hold of yourselves. Save it for the arena, at least. Or don't, honestly. What do I care? I've got lofty career aspirations to focus on. I don't think that was the boy. It's okay, though. Maybe I can help you with your business plan. <gasps> Just then, Sprinkles arrives to signal the true start of the class day. He's panting, which doesn't seem to be that abnormal. He's a professor, but he's also a dog. Student, students, it please was really take your seat. Remember? Oh wait, was it? Yeah. Oh yeah, it was. Students, students, please take your seats. Yeah, it was Elmo. <laughs> For my late arrival, I spent the morning chasing a car all around town, and then my tiny days were very, 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 very tired. But I'm here now, 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 and I hope that you're a throb furry dog belly he loves. Oh, wait. Rub his furry dog belly, he loves it. Sprinkle stops in his tracks and sniffs the air around you. Something has him in a trance. There's a scent left on you, <laughs> Colonel Sanders. Sprinkles jumps on you and licks your face. Boy, howdy. <laughs> down, boy, down. Off the open. Is that even a word? That's German for give me my sandals back. That makes sense. The command shouted by Colonel Sanders is snap sprinkles out of his trance. I wonder what's up with that. Sorry, I can't get rid of it. After he catches his breath, <laughs> Sprinkles regains control of the classroom. Without further ado, we'll review the global history of my favorite fowl. The chicken! You want to pay <laughs> which is way, which is why in 1776, at the signing of the Declaration of Independence, it was a chicken who first signed their name. But you can't help but daydream about Colonel Sanders, and you miss most of the important parts. When you come to, Sprinkles is holding a tray of food in front of you. Well, white lemons. <laughs> Naturally, this appears to you to be a sample platter. Which item do you take? I think we should take a glass of water, because that's, like, most normal. Because the pepper is going to embarrass us. The dog biscuit is also probably going to embarrass us, right? So we have to go with water? Yeah, probably. You grab the glass of water and gulp it down. It's cool and crisp, like the pure snow melted by a mountain spring. <laughs> oh, that was mild! Oh, no. How <laughs> I... <laughs> I lost Elmo, it goes to Funky Kermit now. That's fine. Oh, that was mine! It was my fa- <laughs> <laughs> It was for my favorite toilet! You're only six dollars! And you've got an excellent taste. You think to yourself, geez, I should pay better attention. We all make mistakes. I'm sure he'll forgive you someday. Come on, it's time for lunch. Even though we just started class. Well, you were paying attention. You weren't paying attention to the message or the lesson. Remember? Oh yeah. Well, before I... anyone can relax, the cafeteria lights dim, and your rivals enter to make a dramatic announcement. Today's lunch will be prepared via time competitive cook-off. Uh, yes. You're on. All right. A bit of lunchtime competition, eh? Count me in. If I have to wipe the tables with you fools before I set my lunch down on it, then so be it. I'm not the fool. You're the fool. Fool. That's the perfect voice for him, isn't it? Boy, howdy. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Von Von. I like your gumption, White Lemons. I'll be watching your performance. Just as things reach a boiling point, Sprinkles steps in. Surely he'll put a stop to this madness. Do you think Colonel Sanders is wearing a bra right now? I don't see why not. Yeah. Now, students, please settle down. This is a lunchroom, not a sports in court. Finally, a little sense. You breathe a sigh of relief. At least not until we turn the timer on. Oh. Just then, a huge light bless you in the face, flashing the words, Time already. <clears throat> well, that's what I'm taught. I've lost it already. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I stand corrected. Boy, howdy. <laughs> the hard way builds solidly a foundation of confidence that cannot be swept away. And that's an original quote by me, in case anyone was wondering. I hope its message, I hope its message lifts you to victory. Like a diamond, I was formed under pressure, and now is my chance to shine. 
I will defeat you myself. She scares me. You had a chicken and you made mashed potatoes and gravy on day one, and you're feeling like you can really impress him again here. It's time to boil some water for the potatoes. Think fast. If the timer runs down, you'll be forced to pick randomly. Okay, what temperature? Oh, um, um, um. What's the difference between Celsius? You choose. It's Celsius. That's right. But how would you have even gotten into the school without knowing that? Um, because it's a video game. Okay, I was just making sure we have around 25 minutes. When it gets to rub my belly, let that entrancing offer enticing. In, in, entrancing offer motivates you. are going to need to season this chicken before you cook it. You don't know how Colonel Sanders rests. Of, you don't know Colonel Sanders' recipe exactly, but you have an idea. How many spices? How many spices? It's been like a month. Seven. That's wrong. Uh, I've been schnozzed with I... better sense than that. Now that you've got some basic steps going, it's time to elevate your craft. Um, uh, it was, it was... Trust, or gratitude. Frick. It was gratitude. I'm begging you to get it... That's you. I'm begging you to get it together. Get it? I'm a dog. Never gets the wrong time to die in jokes. Your classmates are rooting for you, but Ashley is simply stronger and faster than you. You'd better pick up the pace if you want to survive. When you were a child, your father told you to never forget where you came from. Every day, you meditate on his advice and draw energy from that place. Now, what, so where does it come from? What? Um, it was... What do you mean that's wrong? We don't know our backstory. Oh. <laughs> Two game overs. <sighs> Guys, we're good at this game. Two game overs and a Colonel Sandal. It's a great name for the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get back to where we were. The mail. How's your day been? You know. Oh. Okay. Okay, uh, um, was it 10? 10, maybe. God dang. It's 11. Okay, uh, it was gratitude? Thank you. Okay. Okay. Deep beneath the Pacific? No. What do you mean, no? We're our own character. Okay, we have we have one more chance. Uh, what is the sound of success? Is it sizzling, sizzling. bubbling, or... This is hard. <laughs> Considering the last time we played this was like a month ago. Vacuum. I don't know if that's picking up. I hope not. If we fail again, should we just say no? Yeah. We're probably gonna have to do it anyway. Okay, so one Celsius. One hundred Celsius. Okay, and then eleven. No, it was ten. It was eleven. It was. I just got it. <laughs> oh, it goes back to the beginning of the... Well, it was gratitude. Gratitude. Uh, it was a small town where dreams are born. Uh, silence or bubbling. Silence. Okay. You notice that Colonel. You notice. You notice Colonel Sanders in the corner of your eye. I. Boy, howdy! I believe in you, White Lemons. <laughs> he's actually cheering you on, which would be awesome. Except knowing he's watching you makes you totally forget what you're doing. No, the <laughs> thing about is Colonel Sanders. Make some more. Oh no! Who's fools of gravy? <laughs> you are stranded on a desert island with only the desert. With only one dessert to cook, but. Which do you take? Oh, I, I what take. What a hunk! I take <laughs> That's the bra. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know, right? You know what? You shouldn't you be fo- No. <laughs> God dang it. I uh, forgot his voice. What does that have to- What does that have to do with crafting spectacular fried chicken and delicate baked biscuits? Woof woof! You really struggle to keep up. At the, at, at the next station over, Ashley has already begun plating elements of a dish. It's colorful and complex. To make up time, you toss, toss your biscuit dough into a stand biscuit. As- with mixer. As you do, the crowd gasps. E yikes! I know you love nothing more than seeing a fellow applicant utilized in the kitchen battle. Our clients. I don't care, but <laughs> sometimes that means sacrificing the personal touch. 
or you might not have any hands but white lemons does and a good chef needs to be touching the dough to know when it's properly mixed well howdy there's an easy way and a hard way you don't get far by going the easy way when you hear everyone talking, you realize how serious your error was. You immediately shove your hand in the mixer to rescue your dough before it's overmixed. White lemons! No. But you're not fast enough and your hand gets stuck. It's immediately crushed by the quickly spinning beaters. There's no way you'll be able to use that hand for the rest of the match. Colonel Sanders shakes his head in shame. Boy, howdy. What you often find is that the easy way can turn out much, much more difficult. Everyone stop what you're doing now. The battle's over. It can't be. I was so close to finishing my dish. It's really hard. Look at your hand. You simply can't go on. Aw, oh, that's too bad. And here I am with a completed dish ready to serve. Surely that makes me the winner by default. No, no, I wouldn't be afraid to compare those two. I'm a cat of white lemons and yours. <clears throat> you see Sprinkles begin to lick his doggy chops as he locks onto the dish. But I suppose you should at least tell us what you prepared. Well, because I'm the sweetest, I skip straight to dessert. Under this white chocolate dome, you'll find a wide array of delights, taking you on a journey of flavor that tastes good and tells a story of excellence. I was going to ask White Lemons to do the honor, but since you're injured, I'm afraid that pouring with this creamer of delicate hot chocolate sauce might be too difficult. Colonel Sanders, if you wouldn't mind lending me your strong, steady hand. That was going to say me. I would have been better. Your strong, meaty hand. <laughs> Colonel Sanders pulls the hot chocolate sauce on top of the dome, causing it to melt away, revealing the ingredients hidden within. Inside, you'll find a delicate fried cheese croquet. Isn't that a sport? <laughs> the one where you hit the ball? Yeah. <laughs> Atop a slice of honeycomb. Ice cream. Two ways. Ice cream two ways. What does that mean? Tender nougat and pearls of blueberry gel jelly. Why is there a honeycomb in there, though? Because it's sweet. Colonel Sanders seems intrigued, but perhaps not impressed as he dips his finger into the chocolate mm. sauce. Simplicity. Boy, howdy. <laughs> Simplicity isn't your strong suit. Simplicity isn't your. Boy, howdy. Simplicity isn't your strong suit, is it, Ashley? <gasps> oh, you. <laughs> As he places his sauce-covered finger into his lips, Ashley leans over and whispers something into his ear. A dab of sauce sticks to his mustache. Uh, don't get in between them, but... Internalize. Yeah. I think he is. Your rage burns so inten intensely that, your eye that within your eyes... Your rage burns so intensely within your eyes that they might burst into flames. The flames cause your eyebrows to catch fire and turn to ash. <laughs> They fall off of your face, which means people will have a hard time understanding your emotions for the rest of the semester. Perhaps forever. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> embarrassed and ashamed by your poor performance, not to mention your crispy fried brow, you run to the quad to be alone. The beautiful weather feels like an insult. Inside of you, a storm rages. It's Colonel Sanders. He's probably here to tell you that he and Ashley are in love and have decided to get married. And he won't even ask you to cater his wedding because you're a terrible chef and an awful person. He tried to hide from him, but he approaches you directly. I know you're hurting right now. Not just from the devastating loss, but from that running with the mixer and the small fire. We should get that checked out. I'm fine. Can't you just leave me alone? I'm a loser. I'm not fit to fill your fryer. I'll never be a master chef. <laughs> Why have I never heard that? <laughs> I'm not fit to fill your fryer. <laughs> I'm not fit to fill it. Failure is a part. Boy, howdy! Failure is a part of life, not just for you, but for all of us. Do you do you think I've never failed at anything before? That's exactly what I think. Well, then think again. I wasn't always the man you see before you. Enrolled in culinary school, incredibly handsome, successful, motivated. Well, handsome, sure. I was born that way. But I've walked other paths and arrived at dead ends. I was passionate about life, but I failed as, as, as an obstetrician. What is that? Well, I don't know, but why does he have gray hair if he's this young? It's white. It's gray. It's definitely white. It's definitely gray. Look at that. It's definitely gray. Exactly, it's gray. Because 
he uh, he's so stressed about his clicking, and he works so hard that it's great. Ah! Don't pull that lever. Okay. I was passionate about justice, but I failed as a lawyer. Boy, howdy. I was passionate about livestock, but I even failed as a mule handler. That one was especially humiliating. Mules can be so cruel. I didn't know. People see my delicate rib and tie and my well-kept beard and assume that I've got it all together, which is true now, but it hasn't always been. Sounds like this guy could really use a hug. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm taking advantage of things right now. I'm, I'm downloading episodes of Guy's Grocery Games. Okay, well... Boy, well, howdy. I resolved then that I was going to amount to something. No amount of hours, labor, or money would deter me from giving the best I had to give. As Colonel Sanders changes focus, you can see something ignite inside of him. A burning passion. One has to remember that every failure could be a stepping stone to something better. My new dream is pure. It's honest. It's something that a humble man in a crisp white suit can be proud of. I will create a new chain of chicken restaurants that will bring joy to the entire world and make up for my past misdeeds. I really want KFC. I... Okay, if I'm actually being honest, I don't like KFC that much. I love KFC. KFC is so good. It's not that great of a fast food place. Why is Pop so big? <laughs> <laughs> He's so thick. Why is he so tall? Yay! Gay. <laughs> <laughs> Just as your moment grows intimate, you're interrupted by a threatening, shadowy presence. A battle scar from the night before you prepare for the worst. It's the sport. Oh, please. I love the sport. Oh, it actually is. Oh. Who? Who was it? Was it me? Because I was doing like... Was I doing like a growly voice like I do for Ashley? I don't know. Or were you doing a stupid voice? Probably. I don't know. Oracle the Spork Monster. You're a fiery hero. <laughs> it sounds like he has diabetes. He probably does. <laughs> yes. Is anyone else feeling a bit of deja vu? I'm sorry, Gorko, but I could have sworn we already battled you last night. That was Gorko, my twin. I am Gorko. I am here to avenge them. Are you stronger than Gorko? Well, we're twins, so... No, not really. <laughs> we're pretty much exactly equal in every way. Why do you ask? Colonel Sanders smirks. He's already on the same page as you. It's just that we beat Gorko pretty easily. So I don't think you, ha you have much of a chance. Not to mention, I feel really guilty about that. I could take it back, I would. Boy, howdy. I think what White Lemons is saying is, we, can't we just be friends? Life's too short for making enemies. I suppose. We really don't need to fight. We really don't need to fight? That was a question that I statement. <laughs> it's just that I've got these pointy teeth and claws. All the, all the better for enjoying tasty foods. Surely you like to eat, don't we all? Quoth I you. Inspiration strikes you and come up with a quick idea. I would kiss him. Probably tastes good. Like, look at that juice, like, leaking from his mouth. Yep. Jump on this! You, to you toss a biscuit in the Gorko's open mouth and he devours it in one gulp. Delicious! You're much nicer than the evil students who once so upon a time turned me into this creature who stands here today. I don't believe it. You were human once? Well, no, I was a chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> but I was still a student at school. Until one day, some mean kids with a magic spell book cast a dark enchantment on me and I would forever transform. A magic spell book? Precisely! Orko used to have a coffee, but somewhere along the way I've locked it. If you find such a book, I beg of you respect it. Look at all of his eyes crying. Oh, that's sad. That's gross. You're a powerful chef. A chef? Chef. You're a powerful chef. You shouldn't rely on such dark and evil magic. No, you should be protecting the innocent from those who would cheat them through sorcery and guile. If you need me, don't fear, I will be there. It sounds like there are some bad cooks in the kitchen of life. White lemons, together, I am sure we can defeat him. them. Boy, howdy. Come back to my hideaway and we can discuss. What are you doing? Yeah. Okay. I wish we had a webcam. Personal invite. You can't imagine what Colonel Sanders' home must be like, but it sounds like you're about to find out. Stepping inside. So we're just gonna ignore school, because we <laughs> ran out of lunch, right? Yeah. So there was just like the rest of the day that we're just completely scooping out on. Yeah, I guess. Stepping inside Sanders' home, Sandals' home, surrounded by his things, you start to feel a special bond with him. Hold on, is that a KFC flavored candle? No, it's not. No, that's Japanese on it. <clears throat> it looks like you live such an exciting life. 
Colonel Sandals. Boy, howdy. Every day can be an adventure if you approach it with the right attitude. Long ago, I made the decision to never stop searching. Never stop working. Never stop imagining. <laughs> have you... Have you been working on any new recipes of your own lately? I'm always excited to talk about food with another ambitious chef. Well, there's something. It's just a side dish that I've been tinkering with, trying to find the right balance of flavors and textures. I'm not sure I've nailed it yet, but I'm close. What if it's just like... The, the bowl, you know? The KFC oh. bowl. What, what is that called? Yeah, that thing. Colonel Santa's <laughs> eyes perk up. Well, it's meant to pair with something spicy. Or something crispy. Both, perhaps? Now you've got him right where you want him. Should you reveal your new creation to him, or keep it a secret? I think we should reveal it. I think we should, too, because I want to know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> you decide that you're ready... You're as ready as you'll ever be to share your original cooking with Colonel Sanders. Or you can talk yourself out of it, you decide to dive in headfirst. You reach into your lunch bag for a special dish that you've been keeping on ice all day. With why? Ice cream? I, I present to you my original coleslaw. Oh, that makes sense. Wait, what is that in it? Is that tomato? That's bacon. Oh. The shredded cabbage dish glistens in the light of Colonel Sanders' lu looks. Is that where Luxray comes from? <laughs> yes. <gasps> That's where Luxray Magnificent! Comes from. Together you chow down on the creamy slaw until just a spoonful remains in the bowl. Do you mind if I hold. Boy, howdy. Do you mind if I hold on to the last bite? I'd like to have it around so that I can admire its taste and later and think back on this moment. You could offer to make him more. But he seems like a very sentimental kind of guy. Sure, why not? Boy howdy, please make yourself comfortable. I'll be back in just a moment. How many times have you said boy howdy? I can't do the voice without saying it, and I don't know why. It's like I can't do the trailer voice without saying baloney. You realize that now would be the perfect time to do some snooping. Around the room are various items that you can look closer at. Each item seems to radiate memories and emotions. Tap on an item to discover more about the colonel. Let's, uh, let's go with the candle. A, s a scented candle. You pick it up and try to identify the smell. It's, it's just chicken. grease. How about it's chicken? Power tool? <laughs> <laughs> Freshly starched collar? Piece of wood floating in a lake? Summer of 69? <laughs> no. It's one of the secret... Oh yeah, I forgot oh, they hide yeah. it. It's... It's... <laughs> Tap it on sandals. Is this Colonel Sanders? At oh, oh my <laughs> god. An adorable little baby boy crawls across the floor. From the goatee and mustache combo he sports, you figure that this must be the Colonel Sanders himself. Colonel Sandal. That, or maybe it's the drumstick. And he seems to be waving like a rattle. Who frames a baby picture of just themselves? Probably the same type of person who would make their own face the logo of the company they founded, am I right? Like Ronald McDonald. Alright, chicken time. You notice a very realistic stuffed chicken on a corner table. When you pick it up, you realize it isn't just realistic, it's real. Oh my god. walking. <laughs> Taxidermy? Must have been important to Colonel Sanders when it was alive. Oh, I thought it was, like, alive. <laughs> it's a lot of water. Uh, I hate that I'm the only person reading right now because I was really thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> a little note clipped to the chicken's foot reads the true story bird great state of Kentucky. <coughs> What's in the closet? I don't think we should snoop yet. I think we should look at the other stuff. A lock of silver <gasps> hair is ro woven through the teeth of the comb. Is it, is, are we going to take it and clone him? I hope. Oh. Upon further inspection... Oh, it's silver, not gray. Oh. Upon further inspection, you realize that the hair therein isn't just silvery in color. It's actually made of spun silver. Oh. What? <laughs> So is his hair silver? <laughs> is that like the deep lore of this game? <laughs> you gaze out the window across the vast lake and mountain range beyond. Just then, the ghost of student pops up. Baloney, are you thinking about heading into the world on a quest to avenge my death? Wait, what? I've never even learned your name. Why would I avenge you? I could just tell you my name right now. It's... Can you say I'm in the middle of something? <laughs> you open a... You open a window... The window, a crack in the ghost of student, is swept out with a breeze. So he's actually dead? Yeah. Hmm. What's this urn? Mbase. It's an urn. I want to drink its containment. 
took a closer look at a large urn sitting on a nearby pedestal. There's a plaque on it. It's dusty, but when you wipe it off, you can read the inscription. It says, You lie the ashes of all my past careers and business failures. What if he just burned a donkey? <laughs> 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 and that's what the... Uh, that's... Uh, poor guy. The photo appears to be the Colonel to be Colonel Sanders, except he's an old man visiting the pyramids of Egypt. Or if that's his dad. Maybe this is where he discovered one one of his secret spi herbs and spices. Is that like Ronald McDonald? One of the framed photos shows an old man who looks a bit like Colonel Sanders standing with a friend. They hold fried chicken drumsticks and appear to be cheersing them. They're not holding drumsticks. Yeah. Okay. You look closely and see there's a short inscription. I wonder who my friend P is. Who is P? Is he a real guy? Uh, uh. Ooh, this must be where he keeps the secret recipe. You think for a moment, what number is important to Colonel Sanders? Then it dawns on you. As soon as you dial to 111111, safe opens. Why would it be 111111? Mm -hmm. Is that when it was founded or something? KFC wasn't founded in 2011. 1911. KFC wasn't founded in 1911. Are you sure? It's pretty old. Is it? Get your phone. Can chicken be... Can, can chicken be prepared sashimi style? <laughs> hmm. Okay, well. When was KFC founded to... Why would it be 11 11 11? Why would it be 11 11 11? Alright, well. You open the door to Colonel Sanders' closet. You find a row of his oh, signature white chicken suits. chicken in numerical the food thing. In what? I don't know, I forget. It said chicken when I looked up 11 11 11. White suits hanging within. You take one of uh, one of its hanger and try it on. The jacket is a bit big for you, but it's soft and comfortable. You give yourself a deep hug, breathing in his scent. They say that home is where the heart is. Is this what they meant? Before you can look oh. any further, you hear Colonel Sanders returning. He has a new dish that he's been working on, and he wants you to taste it. You try to ask, act casual until he asks why you're wearing his jacket. Oh. That was really hard to read. Well, howdy. I don't usually loan those out, but I must say, it does look good on you. Oh... Poo poo word, the jacket. <laughs> you forgot to take it off. Uh, should we make a big move or should we fess? Tell them that we're cold. I don't think that's the way to go, honestly. Why not? We're cold. Yeah, but that's like I think I think I think we should make do this one. What if we get another game over? <laughs> then we'll just try again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This isn't that kind of game. Wait, what? Well, what did it mean? Now I'm confused. Not that we blame you for trying. <laughs> oh, stripping, huh? Oh. I bet. But still. God dang it. <laughs> <What? in> the... <laughs> God dang it. I swear it's listening to us. <laughs> Wait, I don't even have a microphone plugged into my computer and it's listening to us. KFC is hacking your phone. <laughs> there needs to be an Android version of this game, so we can play it on the go. I download or it. Or on Switch. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, we're all the God. way back here. I'm not gonna edit this, I don't care. How's your day been? Depressing. I told you not- I told you just to say that you're cold. And then you were like, no, I'm gonna make a move. That's not what I thought of. Reveal it. Right. Because it's cold slaw. So. Okay, so we click. Uh, I don't think. Sauerkraut's good. I don't like sauerkraut. Why? I don't know. It's not very good. In the summer of 69. Oh, hey! This is a good time for an announcement, I guess. We have a theme song now. No, no, we don't. Yeah, we do. Back in the summer of 69. No, not that. I mean, like, I made one with lyrics. It goes like this. The fourth, the fifth, the minor <laughs> fall, the major limb. 
A powerful game composing. Hallelujah. Okay. Cold. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. I just got a little cold and I thought this might warm me up. Colonel Sanders. Sandals smiles and scoots <laughs> close to the fireplace. Well, howdy. It's warm by the fire. Why don't you come a little closer? I told you, this is how we get into those aprons of his. <laughs> 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 Suddenly, everything feels like it's moving too fast. Final exams are tomorrow. You should be thinking about what you're going to cook. I should be home studying. Overwhelmed, you take off the jacket and run for the door. No. But the thought of leaving Colonel in the midst of such an emotional breakthrough gives you a pause. You stop yourself. Colonel. Mm. Yes, White Lemons? I honestly think this may be the beginning of something wonderful. I think you'll... Boy, howdy. <laughs> I think you're all right. We should take things slow. You talk. You talk late in the night and drift off into a slumber. Dream sequence. Wait, this is the end of the episode. Cause it is the end of it. Whoa. This is amazing. <laughs> that was great. <clears throat> All right, I think we're going to end this episode here because it's the third day of the game. Yes, it is. So Thanks. thank you for watching. Announcement real quick, though. Um, no, I, the serious announcement. Um, we have an official SoundCloud. This is not true. Okay. Thanks for watching this episode of AA Batteries. Um... Oh wait, real shout out. Um shout out to our pal Chase who's going on Twitch now. So He bailed on us. Yeah, he did, so Okay bye. Mind.